What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are at Terrace Homes here in Friendship, Wisconsin, and we are currently standing outside of a super cute modular home and it also smells good. So let me turn you around. I'll tell you all about it. This is the retreat and when you walk inside this thing smells like a cherry tootsie pop it's amazing so it is a two bedroom a two bath it's approximately 1010 square feet you got this cute little porch right here super cool layout i'm absolutely ecstatic to be here loving all of these homes we just got done walking through these two over here and then i don't want to spin you around too much but there are nine homes in total and this is one of the cutest cutest I don't even know what words. It's the cutest dang uh, model center I've ever been to. So pretty excited to do it. I'm just flying through the homes because it's fun, exciting. Uh, you do have a side door right here uh, coming off of your living room. You put a little garage over here if you wanted to. Uh, if you do want any information on this model or Terrace Homes, you can find that information in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search for this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country and you can see if they are built in your area. You can also find pricing information over there or you can wait till the end of this video where I will give you the base price as well as the as tour price of this particular home that we're walking through right now. Whew. A couple windows back here on the back of the home. Man, they have decorated these things up like crazy. I don't think I've been into a home as decorated as these uh, in quite some time. And then coming around to the far side, I mean, you just look at all the turns and stuff you have in this home. It's wild. You got another window over here, and then we'll get back up onto the front porch, which has so much room. I love that it's open too. Get the grill out here. Put this thing up overlooking a lake or even like a river like i feel like it's river rafting time you know what i mean it's it's not super hot it's kind of fall i don't know anyway then you got a couple of lanterns over here around the front door which is this sliding door right here unless you entered through your garage but we'll go ahead and get inside all right Cherry Tootsie Pop, my goodness. I love that smell. So this is your view when you do a first walk into the home. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick so you can see the sliding glass door. Um, and then we will we'll get into it. So you can enter right there. And I'll also show you the side door here in just a minute. So when you do first come in, you are again greeted with this beautiful living room. You got a cute little kitchen back there. And then you have that side door as well as your dining room. So we'll go ahead and check out the dining room. Got a couple windows surrounding it. Again, with some nice views. Looks really good. And then we'll get back behind that partition wall in just a little bit. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do it right now. <laughs> that way we don't mess up our flow. So coming all the way over here, got like a halfway up wall and that is hiding your stairwell down into your basement. Got a cute little light fixture over here too. There, now. <laughs> anyway, uh, coming through the living room, you do come back into your kitchen. Plenty of cabinets in here. Going all the way around. Got a nice little space for an island right here. This isn't a permanent fixture, so you can get like a roller one if you wanted to. Kind of move it out the way if you wanted a little bit of extra space. And then you got an L-shaped counter, got your stove with your built-in microwave. Get into some of these cabinets. Got a nice corner cabinet over here. Nice wood shelves. And then just below that is a Lazy Susan. Your stainless sink, dishwasher. And then on the opposite side, you have even more counter and cabinet space. You got your refrigerator. Let's open up some Let's open up some drawers. And then you got some nice sliders up underneath of there as well. And then back towards the back of the house. I haven't been back this way yet, so 
we're gonna get a little nosy, poke our heads into some places. I guess I probably could have turned on these lights. Ooh. So side door or <laughs> side bedroom. Fun little light fixture with a built-in fan. Saw that one in the last one. And then towards the back of the room is this great big step-in closet. Dang, I am off it today. I got too excited and didn't. I turned them all on, on the, in the last house. But then it came in this one. I think it was the smell. It overwhelmed me, overpowered my senses, and I didn't know what was happening. So just off of that room, you do have a single vanity in here with your vanity lights. You got a toilet, and then you also have a shower and tub combo. Let's check behind, is there anything behind the door? No. And then around the corner from that, you do have a pocket door that separates this little common area that we're in from the laundry room. Got your washer and dryer hookups in here. Nice shelf and window. And then this, I guess this might be like a pantry um right off pantry or linen closet you probably use it for whichever one that you wanted because it's just this close to the kitchen uh it is locked though that i think they have one room in every house or one closet in every house that's locked uh and that's where they store all of these amazing decorations so this is the second bed this should be the master bedroom i believe it threw me off a little bit it's set up like a Kind of like a little family room. And then off of that, you do have the ensuite. You got a single vanity in here with your vanity lights, your toilet, and then a standalone shower. You got a bench on either side. And I'm interested, I wonder, this must just be the closet. Yeah, so you got attic access in here, plenty of shelving. Ooh, that's a, a lot of shelves. All right. So let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Terrace Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description or over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan as well as all the floor plans and see if they're built in your area. You can filter down, search by bedrooms, square footage, all that fun stuff. As far as the price for this home, it starts at approximately $235,000. And then as we've toured it, you're looking at approximately $260,000. Of course, that price may or may not be the price that you pay depending on your fixtures and property and individual circumstances. So just keep all that in mind. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to tour with me. As always, my name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.